Well, 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 hello everybody. Welcome to the stream. We're starting right away with this one, so uh, getting right to it. Welcome to VRML, welcome to Party League for that matter here in this 2v2 tournament starting up right out now. So first launch underway. I'm Palador, and uh, this is, oh, well, we got Rad and we got League Subs, and let me actually switch up there. Names real quick. There we go. That's more like it. We got Rad over on the blue side. White Dragon 7 and Rad David N, who we know, of course, from Ready at Dawn. Developers here. And uh, we got League Subs trying to defend a shot. Unable to do so as White Dragon will convert on the first score. What's up to Wolf and uh, Dank Hellcat? Welcome to the stream. So it's just... Uh, just be for now, but I'm happy to be here. Happy to see uh, these uh, these players coming in here, because obviously, you know, we already know them well from VRML and from Echo Arena in general. You can hear the comms coming through uh, for this Party League tournament. Now, for those maybe tuned in over the weekend, we also had the Party League four v four finals here on this channel. As Lechos channels his inner offense to tie it up to a piece. See, uh. Nick Trebaldos there. How's it going, Palor? Good. How's it going, Nick? Welcome to the stream. 
from wherever you may be joining. I can only assume home, but never know. Allegedly, some people listen to uh, listen to these casts when we're when they're at work. Don't recommend it, but I always thank people for doing so. Of course, it's a bit late for that, I guess now. But in any case, the clear has gone through now. Red uh, trying to get some offense going in. And you can hear the. Uh, the lauding there from Latos as he tries to defend the skull. Uh, dunk attempt there will be cut off, and uh, White Dragon's still there for the rebound. Now spreading out here as Rad tries to make a move on the goal. Rad Dave, that is. Nice little cross, and a nice little goal. That's a 4-2 to lead. Two minutes in. Also, if the uh, comms at any point are too distracting, let me know. I mean, uh, for Party League especially, you know, the more friendly, uh, you know, for fun kind of tournament. So, with that, uh, I feel like it's okay leaving comms on. But, same time, if it's too distracting, I can turn it off. Uh, but, nonetheless, uh, Greg here trying to pressure that now and get the disc. A little tap-off boost there from White Dragon. Pretty nice. But, it's not going to get there, as you can hear him communicating that to Dave as well. Uh, meanwhile, Greg... Taking that disc over. Now setting it up high. I think for uh, Dave and White Dragon, haven't seen them since VRML last season. But for Late Toast and Greg, have seen them uh, this offseason. Cast the, I think, Greg and Seal once or twice, and casted Late Toast, uh, I want to say, and maybe the Charity Cup back in uh, October for uh, HyperX. But uh, either or, back on the offense here is Dave trying to spread out the floor. Late Toast pressuring a little bit on the offense, and a cross pass, but really no angle to deliver it to Dragon. Now Dragon is going to be stunned out as he loses the disc to Late Toast. And that's going to be a turnover, I think, again, here, as it goes to the other side. But look at the fast boost here. Uh, some overshoots, however. Might give a bit of extra time for uh, League subs to get the disc. Let's see. But pressure coming in, and now they're going to separate. A uh, little juke move there, but once more, the passing angles between Dave and White Dragon. Not quite there. You can hear Dave actually mentioning that as well. Uh, so, could this result in a score back for a tie? Late toast off the backboard, but backing it off and backing it out. Really nice save there coming in from Dave. Now, another chance maybe as the disc continues to be loose all over the blue side of the floor. Been stuck here for the last uh, 45 seconds or so, but finally getting clear through the mid. Just momentarily, though, as Greg is there for another... A recovery, and that's just going to be another ramper back to the bottom and to the trap. <laughs> See, hello's no saying let's go rad. Got some rad fans in the area. As Greg trying to find his teammate in the area, but a bit behind him on the reach. And Dynasty. Yeah, we do respond to uh, Twitch chatters, of course. Of course, of course. <laughs> At least when we can. Sometimes, you know. My attention gets pulled away, but when I can, I definitely uh, check up on the Twitch chat there. And right now, well, check out this. It's David. 7-2 to two for Ready at Dawn's 2v2 Party League team. They are certainly on the rise. It's Dawn, after all. Up to a uh, five-point lead here. Your waifu <laughs> in the ch Twitch chat. I remember you from uh, Party League the other day following the channel. How much do you get paid for casting? Uh, all volunteer in VRVL now. Uh, Twitch, Twitch funds do go to the casters. Uh, B in VRML seasons, it gets split to the casters, but you know, uh, pretty much everything in VRML as well. Giving them some white hot shots. It's red. It's white dragon, for that matter. But yes, VRML as a whole, community uh, grassroots effort across our many games in VR. You know, pretty much everyone who contributes to VRML is casters, production, moderators, etc, etc. We're all uh, longtime Echo players, so... Doing it for the love of the game. Try to see it grow. Well, that said, Late Toast and Greg here being stunned out. And see, the tough thing is there, you can stun the stack out, but because there's only one other teammate available... I mean, you still have to take time to go find your opponent, or your teammate rather, as Late Toast gets the second goal for League Subs. They're up to four points now. Speaking of volunteers and speaking of longtime players, there you go. Gilligan in the chat uh, answering exactly that. Of course, shout out to Gilligan as well. Aside of uh, being a league moderator last season, a new governing mod across the league games this season, he's also the 
Contributor of what, uh, 50 or 60 gifted subs across the, the past year now. He gave 10 for Party League the other day. So shout out to Gil. Now, Greg with the disc, late toast, taking some time to go to the catapult and maybe find some angles. But you can see Dave and uh, Dragon there just not wasting any time and trying not to get stunned either. A very nice recovery, in fact. Now we're approaching the three minute mark here with a six point advantage to Rad on blue. I see Grumpiest Broom liking to move it, move it. Well, that's good. You need to move a broom to clean after all. And right now trying to clean house with a good pass over there. Very clean one, in fact. One more, but it's going to be snagged by Rad David N. And that is the end of that attempt. Uh, so back into the orange zone. Stacks coming in. Open goal, perhaps, perhaps. The stacks being kept back and right now trying to tap it in. And uh, right now it's a 13-4 to lead. Rad's way. Not too shabby. And they haven't even activated their dev cheats yet. Yet is the key word. But uh, what's up to Lufu VR? Stop again. Another recognizable face from VR Mel in past season. Jay Good, what's good? Maybe that shot, actually. Indeed, Latos gets it right before the defense is able to recover. So 13 to 6. As we approach the two minute mark. Bufu asking if uh, Pally, if I ever play pubs uh, again or will play pubs again. Uh, maybe, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Nothing uh, wrong with pubs. You know, inherently it's just, I prefer private matches is all. That's just me, you know, I, I like being able to run for hours straight at a time, for instance. That's all. Right now, though, the uh, minutes winding down as White Dragon gets 15 to 6 on the score sheet. Really high scoring effort between this pairing of uh, Dragon and David. Also, see Princess. So, speaking of mods turn governing mods, Princess, our uh, other new governing mod this season in VR Master League. So, welcome also to Princess. Approaching the final minute and 20 seconds of round one, so still a lot of time. This is going to be otherwise, as far as I know, standard VRML rule sets here in terms of, uh, you know, 10 minute clocks, continuous three rounds, etc., etc. Cross over to Late Toast. He's going to have the one on one diving out. But Hank going down is uh, going to be Late Toast. 15 to 8. And Dave trying to get the save. You can hear him talking about it a little bit, but, you know, it happens. I know playing a few of the private matches lately, I get so excited just saving one. I mean, I'll flex. I've had I've had two game-winning saves in, in the last couple weeks. <laughs> but they were also like my only saves of those entire sets. So, you know, that's kind of testament to my uh, goalie ability or lack thereof sometimes. And in any case, showing some good brawl ability is Greg. Greg sending it through to the tunnel. Now, it's going to be a definite round one win for Rad's side. But maybe some time to score here. Late toast. Nope. Getting stunned. And that bread being buttered and smothered by Dave on the stuns. So uh, now a quick boost here from Greg and late. 12 seconds left. Still time for one more shot. Maybe, maybe. Greg will pass it over. So Dave taking a light boost. Trying to shield himself. Maybe bait out the stun. Not going to happen. And the first round win. Go in favor of red on blue. The fifth. 15 to 8. When I hear some server changing combos, they're they also uh, actually discussing that before the match started, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Alrighty. So, who else is uh, stopping in? Thunder Drifter as well as Cantaloupe. Like it. All the food names. That was a big theme last season. Really fun to make the puns out of the food ones, but uh, Sputnik also stopping in the chat and perhaps stopping in the cast at some point, maybe soon. Then got a little caught up in traffic, but no big deal. Same with these players. They're trying to wade through all the traffic. Now, uh, Dev Cheats, Colin Lufu. Not yet. Not yet. Once they start getting down, you might start seeing some some curving coming in and whatnot, uh, which actually I think is, is in the game now. Uh, as of the patch today, they just patched in the... Uh, options in private matches for curved discs, so that's an interesting thing. 
to maybe uh, play around with. I know some people have been doing it in the PTS already, but yeah. Uh, Gatorich asking for his curve in this match. I don't think so. I haven't seen it yet, so I would imagine not. But alright, so... Round two. Starting up. And yeah, fat stats. Courtesy of Ignite there, just the two players, of course, in the 2v2. Uh, all the stats for you cool cats, uh, trying to come back with the first score in the second round, but grabbing it up on the ceiling, actually missing it was Greg, so White Dragon's gonna be able to slap that into the bubble. Greg, though, a nice little stun boost, and gets the clear, actually the pass off to the tunnel. Uh, immediately on the stack, Late Toast being bothered uh, quite a bit, but taken up by the cloud area, is White Dragon. Fitting that a dragon would be in the clouds, no? Yes. Uh, so some leeches now on the bottom trench, actually by the trap, I should say. More stuns getting dealt here as we get slung side to side, back and forth. And a shot almost, baby, uh, going in, but even the second time almost went in. And Greg will take it back. One minute expired here in the second round. So what's up also to Addison Mays stopping in the chat. Good to see you as well. And right now maybe on an impulse the shot. It's late toast. Why not? Three points to start them off about a minute, two minutes in, in fact. No, one minute in, in fact. What am I doing? Math. <laughs> Alright, so. Oh, did I just hear Strem? Strem, of course, uh, casting with me in the 4v4 finals for Party League on uh, Sunday night. That was really fun to watch, and two, two series uh, went to... Oh, tip of my tongue now. Uh, Technowub's fan club versus, hold on, Red David N, the shot. Versus a rec Reckless, Wreckful. Yes, Reckless, that's it. <laughs> and they won it, and, you know, Reckless won it in the two, two round sweep in the grand finals is what it was. But it was still a really fun watch, and again, Party League being put together here by Dewey Blank. As well as Old Dog, Timber, uh, all helping out in the efforts here to organize Party League in this offseason of VRML. As a bounce shot, gonna ding off the post. So very, very close, but Greg is gonna get a clear, nonetheless. Alright, so trying to meet each other there, kind of halfway. Uh, will they be able to get there in time? Ooh, they actually will, thanks to the ding, so I think Late Toast may have had the shot, but... Just the, the bounce and the ding will undo those efforts. So it's tied up at three apiece. The small overshoot coming in from Dave and Dragon. Goal still open, but only for a moment as Dave recovers and looks to send it over uh, up to the top ceiling, perhaps. Just trying to dodge and maneuver around. So it's going to turn into a one-on-one, -on -one, as often will be the case here. White Dragon is going to get stunned out. And that's going to be cleared out. So stifled and rifled by Grake. And uh, now see if they can get there first is the question. The overshoot's though always so damaging. So back to the midfield, off of some stuns, and late toast and Greg right back at him. I know there's a, a lot of participation here for this 2v2 tournament. I don't actually have the numbers off the top of my head, but I was just looking at the team list, and there's a there's a lot of participants here. I know there, the Party League server itself has uh, somewhere around 300 uh, users in it, the Discord server that is. So yeah, a lot of people uh, hype for Party League, and... You know, just like some of these other community uh, leagues throughout the offseason of VRML. Love to see it! Alright, so Greg with another takeaway. Late toast on the opposite cross. But just a few misreads will get Dave the disc right back once again. Now a deep shot here will be heaved down in and... Just outside the bubble again, just awaiting the return of the players on defense and offense. So one on one. Dave in the goal, though the breaks, and he breaks it open for the two-point advantage. So David enjoying that, White Dragon enjoying that, Palador enjoying that. <laughs> Giving a little bit of the uh, the blenders. In a sense, uh, blenders was probably one of the first people I remember doing that move quite frequently. Uh, or whatever his name is now, Desirable, I think, but... Gamer Boy, Desirable, Blenders, etc, etc. He, he first started pulling that out in Pizza League Season 2, so... At least as far as I remember. So it's, uh... Been a while, but you see more people pulling out that move lately, using their breaks. And... It's a great effect a lot of the time. 
All right, so Dave will take a disc here and just trying to look for him, uh, a clear. You can hear the comms also again coming out and suggesting that that's the case. But meanwhile, over to the bottom of the trench, looking like an open goal. The stack's coming in, doesn't matter. White Dragon once again makes a splatter. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having a little bit of fun here, you know, going, going up the poetry ladder. Anyway, halfway through the second round, Rad with a advantage. And actually kind of on pace for the same scoring total as the last round, just about. Uh, first round was 15 to 8. So we're at about halfway there, a little over halfway there in the second round. So Dave, the recovery, Sputnik Cobra with the uh, subscription. And right now the shot just missing. And late toast, sending it left side. Cheers to Sputnik Cobra for the Twitch sub there. Always appreciate it very, very much. Very, very much, and uh, look at that! Great three-point touch! Greg brings it within a two-point differential. And, uh, yeah. I mean, those those little miss, uh, misreads on the disc trajectory can make all the difference. Give that little window opportunity, and Greg is definitely an opportunist. Uh, remember casting him in Seal. Which team was it again? Uh... I know this one. Uh... Something Witches. Sons of Witches, that was it. Coming in as a sub initially, and then kind of just became the perma sub over in Seal. And definitely impressed on the streams. That said, trying to get another shot, but another ding. A rebound here from Dave. Another ding again! So it's deja vu. It's Dave Javu as they try to get another grab on this disc, but it will be uh, stunned out here. Dave with a disc now working it up the floor. He's going to bring it in, winding it around, and another ding to another rebound for White Dragon. And finally slapping it in from the top of the ceiling. It's a four point advantage, Rad. Quite hectic, that was, but that was fun. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, Jay Good saying a commentator should always have fun. Well, I definitely do. Definitely, definitely do, if you can't tell. Otherwise, I wouldn't have got casted however many in the last year. 800 or so. But, uh, yeah, like I said, it's all about the community effort here. Love for the game. And that applies for everyone here in VRML and everyone here in Echo Arena, for that matter, in these, uh, Community leagues. Do it because we love it. So uh, sending it down the midfield, that's going to bounce a few different ways. White Dragon might be able to meet it there, but Late Toast not far behind, uh, trying to anchor, but still a nice pass over to Dave, who was over on Bowtie. Working it in now from the barrier. Going to anchor, look for maybe just a rebound, but pass both of the blue hands. And they are blue, da ba dee da ba die that shot. Will not fly, but back into the rebounded arms of Dave again. And another bounce off the backboard, and another ding! My goodness, unlucky with these. A lot of attempts, just not able to actually secure it. Uh, so two minutes left, League subs need to make something happen, but instead it's a dragon snapping back. Six point advantage, and that's going to be huge uh, to potentially sweep this in two rounds. Best spec asking what he or she or they just tune into. Well, let me inform you. This is Party League 2v2. Welcome to it. Uh, this is a community for fun league happening here in the off season of VRML. As with a lot of other ones, very popular is Party League and very fun is Party League. The 2v2 tournament is going to be a white dragon shot here to claim maybe this game. So 15 to 6, and that is looking very likely to be uh, ready at dawn. And they definitely came ready to play, and they were ready and on. I must say, League subs, still a chance to maybe score a bit more, but I mean, it's going to have to come in a hurry with a very, very, very quick offensive set. But unfortunately, the turnovers being lost here uh, sent over, just missing the reach of White Dragon, sharing some laughs along the way. Uh, some grabs, more stuns yet, though. Like I mentioned too, the, the whole brawl game, pretty pretty tough to do in 2v2. Just because, uh, you know, you're denying yourself a boost almost. Now that said, Greg, oh, losing the handles somehow. White Dragon stunning him, a duck from Dave. And now maybe lining up one more to cap it off perhaps. Let's see. You can see it. He's gonna go. And he's gonna go for the three points. 
advantage. Or shot, I should say. 12 point advantage on the whole. Uh, now have exceeded their sore totals off the first round. Based on that. But with that, with that, with that. I think that's a wrap in more ways than one. The clock winding down and uh, yeah, the game about to be done here. Finished. Zip, zilch. No more time. So White Dragon. One more handles and they'll get the game disc. Uh, effective round here from Rad. As they will indeed take it in the sweep. Uh, it was very close in the first half of the second round, but just kind of got overwhelmed with the Rad uh, rebounds and the shots. You know, despite some misses here, you know, they just got the rebounds a lot of the times on some of those dings, and they just they put it back eventually, and that's the important part after all. So, with that said, congrats to uh, Rad on the win here for the first, at least to my knowledge, first official uh, 2v2 Party League stream. Or Cass, perhaps, is the better term to use there. Teen to, uh, let's see, six. See, when I talk too much at the end of games, I forget what the score was, so I gotta look it up again. Alright, I think we're good. Here we go. <laughs> 18... to six. Sounds right. Yes. Okay. So, with that, with that, with that. Uh, that will cap it off. It's just the, the one match here. Happy to do it. There's the uh, fat stats again for Gilligan. And also courtesy, once again, of Ignite and IgniteBot, which you can go download, of course, from IgniteVR.gg. Always happy to have them and in the community, making awesome tools, making awesome videos as of now. If you haven't checked out their uh, recent videos they made in the last uh, couple months, as well as the Twitch stream, of course, which is always, always uh, fe featuring those pub matches and such, so... Ignite does a lot of great things for the community. Just as well, uh, our sponsors here at VRML, which is to say ProTube VR, VR Cover, Rebuff Reality, Fixed Gaming, VRWare.net, Asterion, and HyperX. And we are hyper excited to welcome them, our new sponsors, into the next season of VRML coming soon, January 4th. So go sign up for that as well. But that said, this is going to do it, I suppose, for me. Uh, you can get a read at the stats here. Uh, for these two teams, I mean, like I said, g uh, game disc to White Dragon. I mean, 19 points, 1 assist, 2 saves, 41 stuns, ridiculous. Uh, Rad, Rad David N with 8 points, 2 assists, 3 saves, 5 stuns in there. And then on the other side of things, Greg with 3 points, 3 assists, 8 saves, very nice. 35 stuns as well. And then Late Toast, 11 points, 2 saves, 18 stuns, and we are done. Okay. So, before I wind it down on this brisk stream, <laughs> am I missing anything from the Twitch chat besides uh, Sputnik Cobra with 100 bits, actually? Gilligan, also 100 bits. Thank you guys a lot. Best Beck, you best bet this was a lot of fun. You can't tell I'm I'm on one tonight. <laughs> I don't know. It's a good week. It's a, it's a good week. Fun week. Getting to do some casts again. And uh, I may or may not be going over to play... Cyberpunk, right after this is over. <laughs> uh, but yeah, cheers to that. Spots, let's see. Yeah, Gator Rich. So yeah, we were streaming the Party League 2v2s, at least some of them here and there. Uh, there's a ton of matches for Party League, but yeah, uh, it just started this week. The 2v2, that is to say. And we'll be able to stream uh, some of these here and there. Definitely looking forward to it. Can't really go like a uh, ham like I do with VRML though, in the sense that gotta gotta try balancing other things, you know, prepping for season three with other production-related stuff and cyberpunking and whatnot. But you know, you know, you know. And yes, that is correct. Best Beck as a chat answered a little bit above. Uh, yeah, Rad is in fact ready at dawn. White Dragon Seven and Rad David N. They are both uh, both very very well known Rad members in the community. And very uh, skilled players at that. Also saw them on playing on Tint. Uh, there is no team, as they were called in Season 1 and Season 2 of VRML. So, yes, yes, yes. Alright, but that said, I think I covered everything pretty much. So, uh, oh, White Dragon stopping by in the chat on that note. What were the scores? Right there for you. 15 to 8 and then 18 to 6. 
And best bet calling out, let's see, Paravalo deals with a cyberpunk addiction live. Is, is Paravalo live? If so, go and visit him. Uh, be a merry old time. But uh, yeah, so stream cyberpunk. You know, I've considered uh, for the amount of time or for the amount of time that I, I put into games sometimes it would make sense for me to stream on my own channel maybe but I don't know the way I play would be probably annoying to watch in honesty uh I'm slow and I take my time I'm one of those guys who like really can't help but just squeak out every single corner of a map and backtrack constantly on every path and go through every dialogue option I think the only thing I don't do is like read uh read the books or the like the, the notes and stuff, but I mean everything else, I'm just I'm very particular about that stuff. It'd probably be a bore. <laughs> but uh anyway, anyway. Yeah. So uh, I'm gonna go enjoy that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the stream. Thank you guys for tuning in. Very much so. And White Dragon uh, again in the Twitch chat, thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoy the the VOD of that and congrats on the win. So with that, this has been VR Master League. I've been Palador. This is uh, Party League 2v2s brought to you by us. And until next time, guys, be healthy, be happy, be safe, and be uh, good to each other. Pretty please. And I'll see you again really soon. Have a good night.